I'm telling you guys, they're stacking up all these mindfulness wins, and this is just a few days of practicing mindfulness. What's up, y'all? I'm coming live from Santa Monica, and this week's challenge was to practice five minutes of mindfulness, practice five minutes of just being quiet, um, writing in your journal, meditating, whatever mindfulness means to you. But it just hit me that this week has been super crazy, like super cool crazy, um, all thanks to mindfulness. So let me take you through some of my mindfulness wins, these mindfulness moments, like these moments of super, super cool like clarity that were brought to you, brought to me by mindfulness. So let's jump into it. So on my plane out, when I was flying out to California, um, my plane, so I have a connection, and my flight going to the connection was delayed, and there's only a 45 minute connection in Atlanta um, because that's just how it is. <laughs> the plane was delayed, and I consciously chose, it's okay. Like, this is completely fine. Even if I don't make it, I'll be fine. I'll still make it to my final destination. I think the flight attendant, like, hey, like, I know you're doing your best and everyone's doing your best and we're here, you know, we're doing what we can, everyone's doing their best. That was mindfulness win number one, is being cool, calm, and collected, even though my plane was delayed. Mindfulness win number two is actually from my plane, from, on my plane from Atlanta to LAX, there's this family, you know, husband, wife, and they had two little kids. I was sitting on the aisle seat and then they had I don't know how they were supposed to figure this out, but they came in in the aisle to take up those three seats. I mean, there's four of them. One was a baby, so one could sit on the lap, but the other child needed this seat. And they only had seats A and B, so I'm not sure how that worked, how they got in. But anyway, but they're a little bit um, stressed, which is completely understandable. And, you know, the other flight attendant, he was trying to help them. He was like, look, you don't have this seat. You only have two seats me pointing at me this guy has the third seat and it was interesting because even in that moment i was like whatever happens is completely fine and i was all i was like sending love to them which was also interesting that i was like wishing them peace because i was already at peace and so i was like you know what take this seat not a big deal and i asked i was like is there another seat secretly i was hoping you know for an upgrade didn't get one still cool actually got a middle seat, which I don't like middle seats. I don't think anyone really does. But the blessing behind that was I got to write on a speech that I'm working on. Maybe that was meant to be I'm sitting in the aisle so I can solely just work as on this project. I can just zone in on this project. And mindfulness win number three was actually on the plane as well. When I got to my aisle seat, or sorry, when I got to my middle seat, um, I noticed there was a gentleman in front of me um, he had a bandage on the back of his head, and it wasn't until like the middle, middle of the flight I noticed what his condition was. It looked like he was a burn victim, I'm not sure. Um, like he was missing some fingers, you know, and his skin, um, you could tell that he was burned. And initially my thought, like my programming was, oh, that's weird, that looks gross. And then I caught myself. I'm like, dude, Ben, oh, like I just caught myself and I started sending love to him instead. Like, dude, I love you. Like, no matter what. Like, I didn't say any of this to him, but just my thoughts. I quickly changed my programming to, like, that's weird and unusual to, man, I love you. And, like, you know, I'm not sure what happened, but you're just a human. And obviously your life has been more difficult than mine. And thank you for being here. Thank you for living. Um, I'm grateful you're here, and I freaking love you. And it was crazy. Like, even now, it shifted my mindset of, Oh, that's weird and unusual and standoffish to stepping into it and loving this person. So that was cool. Um, that was a really cool moment for me. So that's mindfulness win number three. And then mindfulness win number four. I'm telling you guys, they're stacking up all these mindfulness wins. And this is just a few days of practicing mindfulness. The same night, these are all just like the same day, which is funny. I got to my friend's house. He and his partner had just adopted a dog uh, two weeks ago, a rescue. And if you've ever ad adopted a rescue, you don't know what you're gonna get sometimes. You don't know their personality, you know, was there abuse, um, what trauma there is in their life because they act a certain way. This dog was like, it was a cool, you can tell it's a loving dog, but it doesn't know, it doesn't know how to channel its energy. What happened was we were sitting on the couch, they gave me tea, 
I had this tea in my hand, and the dog was running around, and my friend was next to me, so you wouldn't think that a, jo a dog <laughs> would jump straight, and like, <laughs> there was no way for the dog to go, but it was just running around in the living room, and then it jumped onto our laps. I had the tea in my hand, but spilled, and it's funny, it was this same jacket, and it's white, you know, and old me, which is probably maybe even a week ago, old Ben, a week ago, just because I'm wearing white clothing, I'll freak out. Like, I don't even, like, I avoid puddles and wet spots while walking because I like to keep my shoes clean. So this dog jumped up, spilled the tea on the white part of my jacket. And it's funny, I noticed, I was like, Ben, you're actually not upset or, like, triggered or I was just like, ah, okay. The dog spilled my tea. That's cool, and it's white, it's just... It's whatever, I've had this jacket for a long time anyway, it's cool, like, I've gotten my use out of it. And, uh, it was just an interesting moment for me. So mindfulness win number four, dog spilling tea and me being cool with it on my white clothing. <laughs> it's just so cool to watch that happen. Like, you actually really get to experience life. I hope this comes across clearly. Like, you're not just, things aren't just happening to you. You're very intentional and present with those things. Like, wow, this is really cool, it's happening. Like, I was aware of how aware I was. It was very meta. And even with, like, the dog spilling tea or the flight getting delayed, I was just, like, zenned out. And just, like, in the moment, present. Everything's happening perfectly as it's supposed to. I am where I'm supposed to be. And I'm chill. Like, because I'm just, like, in myself. So please tell me in the comments, what's a mindfulness win that you've had recently? Uh, you're like, whoa, I can't believe that happened, and you were so aware of it happening that it blew your mind. So I would love to know what was your mindfulness win. Thank you for joining me, and as always, if it's anyone, it's you. If it's anytime, it's now. Much love.